what's up guys so today is another update video for the server so we are getting ever so closely to be able to drop this server and basically go into like a more of a beta form uh make sure that everybody can get in you know get the whitelist is done so if you have not already got your whitelist done yet go get them done because we are very very close to be putting this thing up so we are going through some jobs some new housing some parking uh the donator shop and a uh, little bit of talk on how you guys can uh with some new updates that are right there and then how to kind of like get yourself into uh you know donating um so we're gonna start at the first job here so we are at the lumberjack this is one of the newer jobs obviously you guys are all like yeah it's the normal you know just basic uh you know uh lumberjack uh yard but it's not guys this is pretty advanced so if you come up here ask him you know talk to the handler he will give you a hatchet which i think i already have one yes i do i have one uh so thank you sir um so if you guys come on over here actually if you uh actually bring up your map um it actually gives you some uh, green dots where the trees are at where you can go and harvest from them so once you uh harvest from a tree you get uh unrefined wood which then uh the next process we will show you after this so you just wander up onto a tree uh it says there's three of five so must have been already somebody out here uh just chopping away at this thing so we're gonna show you exactly what it looks like once you get a uh unrefined uh, little wood piece right here so there you go you get that into your pocket and it's sitting there so i need to gather a little bit more wood so you guys just hang on for one second and i'll get a bunch of wood okay so we got everything refined now uh to what i can you know just uh i'm not gonna sit out here and just uh ponder away at that thing uh so uh you've gone all walking up this uh place over here up this little ramp or on the other side or if you uh you know just walk up here there is another lovely gentleman at the end over here so if you just walk up to him you will actually put the logs on top of this conveyor belt they go down into uh you know down there below and go into refined wood so uh either you can just you know watch them look how sweet that is guys just kind of goes down either you can go one by one or just spam the shotgunix out of that thing and just uh so let's go oops sorry it's my bad sir uh we'll go down here and show you exactly what the process looks like as they fall down so let's try to beat uh this down here let's go okay and see and we get logs the logs 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 they are actually more of like two by fours or something like that um so the good thing is um your wood is your wood somebody else's wood is their wood they can't come pick up your wood uh depending on uh you know how much wood that you did it all is based off of you know your own style of wood you can't go pick up somebody else you can't steal anybody's it's all based on you you the harder you work the more money you will get uh so just like over here just push e pick up the planks and then we're about to head to the next place to sell so uh so once we go out here i'll show you exactly where uh the place is to sell these suckers so why don't you bring up your map uh go on over here to the redwoods uh track over here so right here is the next spot that we want to go to so it's just the seller so let's jump in the truck and hide on over there all right so this is our next spot to come down to so you want to talk to this gentleman right here this is who's going to give you the money for the wood so go on up here and walk up to this guy bada bing bada boom we sold some refined wood planks so that is the job guys if you like doing lumber jobs and you know cranking out some wood up there uh watching it go down the belt that is the best job for you like i said your wood is your wood anyone else's wood is theirs so there is no in like in between or somebody you know just staying down there and gathering a bunch of wood uh so that makes the job 10 times better guys so let's wander on over to the next job okay before we head on to the over or the other job i just thought about showing you the new uh housing script that's over here so the new housing script is really cool but we also lost the garages in the process but the good thing is that the update that is going to be like it's uh you know every month update 
there's going to be garages added on so although we still have garages and stuff that you can do at legion and other places that are around the map uh the housing right now just doesn't have any uh you know anything that you can uh you know store at so that's the unfortunate part that you know we kind of lost as of right now but um the good thing is is that we still have houses but these also help out with mlos because now you can actually lock your doors no one can get in unless they have pick locks so if you come on up here and buy your house uh, you can go in here give keys to somebody that's right next to you unlock your house just like this it will show you an open and now you can go in so we'll actually show you a different way if you hit l that also locks your house and look at that she's locked up uh we'll show you the other sides uh i believe i didn't add a door there so uh, i'm not gonna show you guys i i forgot how to uh or i forgot to add the door there so see all the doors are locked and you can actually individually unlock them as well so uh you can uh leave that one locked go to the front of the house and then just unlock this one so you basically can lock yourself in if somebody's chasing you down the cops whatever uh but there's also a way that they can get in with the lock picks and stuff so they can kind of you know barge in and make the whole rp just great so as long as there is an open MLO around the city, this is kind of the setup. The other way will be shells. Uh, so then you can actually go uh, over to uh, the U-Tool over here uh, to the furniture store, which is right here. Uh, and then you can uh, purchase your uh, furniture for your shells. Uh, just like the previous ones that we always had is where you can kind of buy, you know, furniture decorate the house uh with the mlos you can't decorate it's just you know it's more for uh the mlos so there's already existing uh stuff into the mlos so let's uh now wander on over to the new job all right so we are at the next job guys so this is a food truck job for uh i'm guessing the ring of fire chili house uh so with this one you can actually grab a nice um food truck uh get a grill out cook on the grill you have to go get the ingredients at any of the 24 sevens that are around in the map um so basically you have to get your meat your bread uh veggies and then you actually get to cook so another new feature that we have is the nice new car locking system so let's uh right here so just hit your little uh plus uh it'd be where the equals or pluses and then you can actually boop, boop, lock your vehicle you can start up your vehicle lock it um and i think those are all the functions i think to them um so i don't really want to play with that you guys can always play with them uh so once you've gone gone over here we get a nice little circle on the other side so once you go into here uh get your work stuff on which is really nothing it just kind of engages the uh everything else in here so you want to get uh your vehicle list out get your food truck so sometimes you will have that big thing on the top or uh nothing on it so with this too is that you can open the sides up uh with the beauty of the trunk so you can open that up and have the whole food truck so i will show you my favorite place to go get everything at and right here if you pull up your map uh come to the left side so there's a 7-eleven or 24 7 i said a 7-eleven i'm so used to uh you know irl uh so the 24 7 right here is going to be your best bet so we're gonna have a little lovely drive so sit back and we will get there soon all right so we are showing up at the 24 7 market that we need to be at so uh let's make sure that our inventory is uh, a little bit uh you know without anything we we want to grab as much as we can so we're going to just go over to this trash can we're going to throw some things out okay so once you have a uh, nice inventory with nothing in there you want to come up into the store just open up the store so we need some bread so we'll grab uh we'll, we'll grab like six of them uh if you want to buy cola and stuff i'm just going to show you guys exactly what you need to do for uh uh, cooking so you want to grab vegetables uh, you can also grab some meat so we'll grab six meat and then we'll grab like five chickens so uh between the meat and the chicken so chicken is more you're gonna make like a chicken uh hamburger and then the meat is more for the tacos so let's get on get on out of here all right so let's set up our little area right here 
so with this in mind guys uh so once you hit f6 you have a billing so you can bill for tacos it's kind of on your you know your end of you know selling tacos and stuff so you can bring out a grill uh so let's put her right here and then uh you can bring out a table so let's uh let's get her right probably like right here we'll go into the materials we'll get a lovely chair right there and then we will go on this side we'll turn around a little bit they kind of angle so you want to kind of you know be ready for that so there we go okay so now that this is all set up guys also you saw that there was a clear or a cleanup which the cleanup for some reason is not working so i'll show you exactly how to get rid of this once we're done so once you come up to the grill it tells you that you can eat and cook so you have a burger which it tells you the recipes right here so one vegetable one bread one chicken for tacos one vegetable one bread and two meat so uh let's prep up uh a taco right now so my fun thing is you don't really have an animation it kind of just cooks on your own so if you do e bbq you will actually look like you're starting up a little grill so it kind of gives you the effect of you know cooking on the grill it gives you a nice little fire and all sorts of nice things so as you're just sitting here pondering you know you can you know talk to the you know whoever's buying once this is all done there's actually a little taco that will come out to the end and then we'll show you exactly what the uh, burger looks like so there you go we got a nice little taco sitting there just waiting so you just pick it up goes into your inventory you can also eat it too as well if you're just uh you know chilling relaxing so let's make a burger now so we'll prep up the burger get our nice barbecue uh emote ready and we'll see exactly what this looks like once she pops out okay so the burger is done so you get this little tiny little burger that sits on the side you just want to pick her up so uh the unfortunate uh thing is that you can't get rid of them but this is how you do it okay i don't think my boss will mind this at all here we go just a little bit of oh yeah oh, oh boy i uh i'm getting fired <laughs> Okay, so after you're done with a long day and you go along smashing stuff and then you got to tell your boss that you broke a bunch of stuff, you know, uh, you just got to wander on back over here and put the truck away. So it's, oh, it was going a little fast. Okay, so all you got to do, pull up into here and put the vehicle away. You can either just, you know, leave your clothes work clothes on or just switch out which are the same clothes that you have now um so that is the taco job guys so let's go on over and show you the new parking okay so we're showing up at one of the new parking garage or not even a garage it's more of like a parking so uh per day it's a thousand dollars that is in uh real lifetime so uh a day here will actually add up to a thousand dollars so it is uh you know based off a of real you know irl more of time so if you just wander on over here you can actually park wherever you want but you know if you're not parked into a spot and uh you know the cops come along they can actually you know check out if you're parked correctly and give you a ticket so all you do is go on up and back up into here store your vehicle you basically go through like a little thing it tells you the plate everything that's on it that is parked so once you you know go throughout the day uh it will it will add up uh ever so like slowly um so right here it tells you once you get back in the pay uh fee it will you know depending on how long you've had it been sitting there it will give you a general uh you know uh dollar for how long you've been sitting here all you do is hit e that basically pays the bill and you can just take off again so this is the new function around here guys is that you know if you are in a public parking you must be parked and you know actually have uh you know it parked up so that is legit guys uh like i said if a cop sees that you know you're not parked correctly or anything you will probably end up getting a ticket guys so on to uh the donor shop so a lot of you guys have probably wondered like what happens at the donor shop and stuff but this is uh everything that you need to know about the donor shop so let's head down there and show you exactly what she looks like all right so for donors people 
uh any of you guys that remember that you can donate uh towards the server uh this is allowing you to have like a little better way of you know getting money some cars but all these cars are available at the dealership um like i said before the cars that are going to be more like uh you know the dodge right here that i have uh they're going to be expensive very hard to get your hands on we want to look more towards the rp um than the cars but this is kind of your easier way to get them uh, is through the donation shop so uh once you have donated we'll show you in a second of exactly where you can find all the donation stuff uh we either go through uh patreon through uh you know uh through the discord or we do have a paypal that goes to straight shooting uh rp it's basically it's account for the server it stays in the server goes nowhere just to the server so uh there are three different tiers so uh one you'll see you know some of the basic cars in there two you're kind of getting uh you know you're a little better so you're getting into the dodge chargers the nicer trucks um and then your third will be you know the lamborghinis the ferraris all them so once you get your donator tier uh then you can be allowed to come in here so this is uh you know the lovely hanger it shows you basically all the cars that are in the donator shop so what these are allowing you to do guys is we do like a week prior to you know having donations uh this is all access to uh you know anyone that wants to donate but the cars sit in here for about a week and then they go into the dealership so it's kind of like a little edge that you guys get to have when you donate so once you can purchase the vehicle you come up on here it tells you uh you know 15 tokens that will buy this beautiful uh whip here so we can go right here buy this thing come out and it's your car so just like that it's that easy guys so now let's show you exactly what you need to do to donate okay guys so now we are right here in the donator uh, reward stuff right under the donation lounge. So this is in straight shooting RP. So uh, if you look through here, these are all your, you know, your different tiers in here. So we have a bronze, uh, we have a silver, we have gold, diamond, platinum. So these all have different varies of, you know, different money. Um, so previously what we had was only 25 thousand for you know monthly for the gold we just added one more zero we're giving you guys a little more money also if you get into you know the diamond or the platinum you also get a little more money and you get one free donator car uh with uh the platinum you get three and that's the big bucks right there guys and you get 100 tokens uh with the platinum you guys get access to sneak peeks and all kinds of stuff that comes into you know all this so once you go to here you go to uh you know just the links so this is our patreon right here that you can go to uh, i believe right here is uh the paypal so if you guys want to do anything through paypal instead of waiting through uh the patreon which is like every month that it donates and pulls out or if you want to just you know straight up just uh go to paypal and just keep going over so once you do that you want to create a donor ticket so all you do is just hit this that will generate a token in here so what we want from you guys is a uh snapshot of the exact uh amount that you paid for we need a real name that is behind uh what you paid for and then um uh just the you know we need a date or something that shows when you actually purchased it so once you do that we have all access to uh you know have a conversation with you so uh once that's all done we actually just uh you know there's a like a little like end thing we just close it uh these little pop up uh, i don't think you guys will actually see them so we just uh, need to react to that uh it basically gives us like a whole like little thing uh this is for more of my end so that um it kind of covers me in case you know somebody wants to be you know a little little uh ding dong and wants to try to uh you know get away from it um so with donator stuff guys remember if you do read in here let me see um i don't know if it's actually it's somewhere 
actually this is a little bit so we want we want some of this stuff so we just want a picture somewhere where the date is um but in here uh you have a access to talk to everyone you have donator stuff but uh as of now guys there if you donate we are not doing refunds. There are no refunds. Uh, don't look to, you know, once you do it, it is like you are trying to donate. Um, so be very ca careful with your points as well because you can accidentally buy a car you don't want. We've seen it happen. Um, at this point, it's, you know, it's on you if you do it. It's just be aware of what you're trying to buy guys before you end up buying it so uh that's more of the donator stuff so let's get back and show you a little more stuff all right guys so we are at the next place uh so this is more for the mechanic job um the newer one um bennies and stuff we're not going to have them doing any more repairs they're going to be just for more of the custom uh aspect um, as well, uh, so we are uh, we do have now a repair auto parts store for the mechanics. So we are going to try to intertwine maybe the uh, housing script as of right now. So we're gonna add the door locks. We'll give all the mechanics uh, keys. Um, so once you you know you can lock this and all that fun stuff. So uh, because there will be advanced repair kits coming in here, we don't want any of that going around to, you know, other people. Um, so you have rubber, scrap metal, uh, electric scrap, plastic, glass, aluminum, copper, steel, and car jacks. So like me as a boss, I like to have like two or three car jacks at the shop. Um, these are basically everlasting. So uh, once you have one, uh, it lasts for eternity as long as you have it. Um, it works over and over again um, with these uh, this is all the material you'll need to build car hoods uh, car trunks doors and uh, wheels um, so like I said uh, with this this will eventually have the advanced repair kits and the repair kits um, we are going to be very very hard on uh, if you go out selling the repair kits and the advanced repair kits that is not allowed guys this is for uh, the mechanic RP side uh, as only we don't want to lose jobs you know with us coming out to go pick up cars and fix them uh, when people can just do it for free um, so if you are caught doing this you will have consequences as of losing the whole company uh, potential like uh, temp bans to warnings you don't want to do it guys you want to be on you know on top of your stuff uh, try to make your RP realistic as possible because this is what's going to happen, guys. It is true RP. We want the best RP we can get out of you guys. Um, so with that forward uh, or said, um, we actually do have the new uh, Bennies over here. So we'll show you before we uh, enter here. Um, so we'll take a little drive just down the road. So we're going to just hop over this curb real quick. Here we go. Uh, there we go. All right. So uh, with that said in mind, guys, we'll uh, kind of uh, slowly uh, start to enter right here. Whoa, geez. I almost hit somebody. Okay. So if you guys are interested in joining SSRP, guys, please go down to the link down below. You can join our Discord and join us and start getting your whitelist applications in because we are so close to be launching this sucker so uh actually as you can see over here that is the going to be the impound over there uh we won't go do a big show we'll kind of just so showcase a little bit of where everything is so now when you buy a car you can just swing on over to benny's and get your car all upgraded so this is the new area for benny's as of now um so yeah guys if you guys are ready to join get that whitelist application set or like i said done get that turned in because whitelist uh interviews are happening at this time um so like i always say at the end of my video guys please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell right next to it will notify you when i go live or my next episodes come up uh please like comment is always appreciated guys and you know get those things done so i can see your pretty faces in here when she launches so, and next time, guys, peace out. Rapping, oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping. Oh my God, my whole life.
my words, been my 